Hi Jammers! So good to see you today. Welcome to Jam Online. I hope you've had a good week. Oh, has it been good? Did you get up to anything exciting? Hmm. Are you thankful for God? Are you thankful to God for what's happened this week? It's really important to say thank you God for being with me. Thank you God for looking after me. And thank you Lord for everything that you did this week. Because God is doing good things all the time. All the time. And if we stop, and we think and we ask the Holy Spirit to remind us it's easy to find things to be thankful to God for because God loves us and he is always with us and he's always doing amazing things today we are talking about how does God show us that he loves us hmm there's lots of ways and we're gonna look at some of them today in our jam lesson but first it's time to worship God and that's a way that we can show God that we love Him by worshipping Him, by singing and dancing and thinking about the good things that God has done and the wonderful, the wonderful, wonderful things that God is and is doing in our lives. Are you ready to worship God? Let's do it together right now. I make, I make in you. Thank you, Jesus, that you lead me and guide me. Oh, today we're talking about how does God show us that he loves us? Hmm. Hmm. One way that God shows us that he loves us is that he gave us his word, the Bible. So right now, it's time for the 60-second scripture find. Grab your Bibles because it's, it's time to look up some scripture. And when we read God's word, it's telling us that God loves us because he gave us his word to help us 
guide us and lead us. Woo! Are you ready? Let's do this together right now. Quick, grab the big rescue Bible because it's now time to play the 60 second scripture. Find! Okay, grab your Bibles because today we're going to look up a scripture. Are you ready? You have 60 seconds to look it up and see if you can beat the clock. Today's scripture is Romans chapter 5 verse 8 and your time starts now. But God showed how much he loved us by having Christ die for us, even though we were sinful. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. What a great scripture. <laughs> Did you find it? Well done. Hi guys, this is Bess here, and today at Jam, I'm going to be sharing about committing our plans to Christ and seeking His guidance for our lives. Now you'll see behind me a couple of pretty cool Lego sets. Now they didn't just have them by themselves, they just didn't pop out of the box or built. No, they had to be built. But they came with plans that gave us step-by-step -step process and guidance along the way how to build them into something pretty cool and amazing. Now the same thing is when we do things in life, we should commit our plans to Christ and pray to him for guidance to help guide us. So when we're meeting with people, we're meeting the right people, we're saying the right things, we're helping him the right ways. So we should be uh, praying and committing our plans to Christ and that way he can bless us and those around us. Thanks guys. <laughs> But right now, it's time for our lesson. And we're talking about how does God show us that he loves us? Hmm, there's heaps of ways. Let's see what the lesson says. Jam lesson, how does God show his love to us? We already know that God is love. For God is love. 1 John chapter 4 verse 8. But what does that mean? How does God show his love to everyone? The main way God shows his love is by sending Jesus to pay the price for our sin. In 1 John chapter 4 verses 9 and 10, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Thank you, Lord. God's love is lavish. God's love is given to everyone, no strings attached, generous and unrestricted, full of peace, mercy and grace. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. God's love is generous. God's love for you is greater than any other power. John 
chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. God's love is honest. God is honest and true. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 and 10 from the Message Bible. The heart is hopelessly dark and deceitful, a puzzle that no one can figure out. But I, God, search the heart and examine the mind. I get to the heart of the human. I get to the root of things. I treat them as they really are, not as they pretend to be. God's love is supportive. God loves you and cares about you. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. He cares about you. God's love is encouraging. God loves you and He wants to encourage you. God will help you as you call on Him and trust in Him. Joshua Chapter 1 verse 9 This is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God's love leads us. God wants to lead you and help you in every area of your life. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 says, The Lord your God wins victory after victory and is always with you. He celebrates and sings because of you, and he will refresh your life with his love. God's love is sacrificial. God loves you so much that he has already proven it by allowing Jesus, God's own son, to come and pay the price for your sin, so you can now be friends with God. 1 John chapter 4 verse 10 says, This is real love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. God's love for us is lavish, generous, honest, supportive, encouraging. He's leading us and his love is sacrificial. This is how God has shown his love for you. Our response is to give our lives to Jesus and live every day following him. This is how we can show God how much we love Him. Jesus said, If you love me, obey my commandments. John chapter 14 verse 15. So that's what we're going to do. So let's know God's love and show God's love by how we follow Jesus and how we treat everyone around us. Oh, wow, what a great lesson. God loves us and he shows it in so many different ways. Right now, we've got a cartoon. And this cartoon is about a story from the Old Testament about a lady whose name was Esther. And God loved the Jewish people so much that he positioned Esther in an amazing place where she could save the whole nation. And that's how God showed them that he loved them. Let's check this story out. Slapstick Theater Esther's Request to the King This is Esther, Hi. who was a Jewish orphan who lived in Persia during the reign of King Xerxes. Esther was adopted by her relative, Mordecai, Hi. who worked in the palace of the king. Once, Mordecai had even saved the king's life. Yep. Esther became the queen of Persia, but no one knew she was a Jew because Mordecai told her to keep it a secret. This is Haman, <coughs> who was the second most powerful man in Persia. <coughs> Haman hated Mordecai because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him. So Haman convinced King Xerxes to make a decree to kill all Mordecai's people, the Jews. When Mordecai learned about this, he was very upset, as were all the Jews in Persia. When Queen Esther's servants came and told her about how upset Mordecai was, 
She sent one of her servants, Haytak, to go to Mordecai and find out what was troubling him. So Haytak went out to Mordecai, and Mordecai told him of the plan to kill God's people. Mordecai said that he wanted Esther to go to the king to ask for him to save the Jews. Esther knew that anyone who went to the king without being called could be put to death. But Mordecai reminded Esther that she may have been made queen for such a time as this. So Esther asked for the Jews to pray for her and fast for three days. Then Esther put on her royal robes and went before the king. When the king saw Esther, he was happy to see her and asked, What do you want, Queen Esther? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. So Esther asked the king if he and Haman would come to a banquet that she had prepared for them, and the king agreed. Esther held a banquet and then asked the king and Haman to come to a second banquet the next night. That night, the king was reminded of how Mordecai had once saved his life. King Xerxes decided that he must honor Mordecai and that Haman would help. Huh? Then, at the second banquet, Esther told the king about the plot against her people. The king was angry and asked, Who would do such a thing? Esther said it was Haman, and the king ordered Haman to be killed on that very night. Uh oh! But the decree to kill all the Jews was still in place, and the Jews were still in danger. So Mordecai asked the king to issue a new decree so that the Jews could defend themselves. The king did, and the Jews defeated all their enemies. God's people were saved and celebrated their great victory. Wow! Queen Esther, God positioned her in a place that she could save the whole nation. Oh, God loves us all so much. And God is working all the time to show us and to help us understand that he loves us and he cares for us. Sometimes we can get a bit confused and sometimes we can forget that God does love us. But it's really important to remember every day that God loves you. That Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for your sins to set you free. And when we remember that every day and we will live every day knowing that God loves us, there's nothing we can't face because we know God loves us and he's with us and he has the best for us. God loves you. He does. And he wants you to know. And he wants you to grow in your relationship with him. God is so good to us. Jesus is so wonderful. And we have the Holy Spirit with us. And he's so awesome as well. Teaching us about Jesus and empowering us to live for God. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson today at Jam Online. We'll be back really, really soon. See you next time at Jam Online. Bye! Jesus is the rock, 
Jesus is the rock we build our lives on He never go away He is here to stay Jesus is the rock we build our lives on Jesus is the rock Jesus is the rock Jesus is the rock we build our lives on He'll never go away He is here to stay Jesus is the rock we build our lives on Jesus is the rock Jesus is the rock Jesus is the rock we build our lives on He'll never go away He is here to stay Jesus is the rock we build our lives on Jesus is the rock we build our lives on Jesus is the rock we build our lives on